Hey everyone, welcome to a Goody Weeder comparison video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. We have here today the Remarkable and the Onyx Book Note. Yes. These are both 10.3 inch e-readers. They're primarily geared towards digital note taking. That's the big selling point behind both of these devices. We'll look at the Remarkable first. It is unlike any other e-reader or note taking device you've ever seen. Basically it's white, which is already pretty different, flush screen and bezel, and has three square buttons on the bottom. The back has two rubber stoppers on the side to keep it raised off the surface and a aluminum backing. There's nothing on the left, nothing on the right. You have a power button up top and the bottom has a micro USB. The stylus for the Remarkable is very unique as well. It doesn't need charging. There is no eraser button or eraser on the back. You do have an extra holder for a nib, so you can take that out and put it in there, but it seems very strange that they didn't put any sort of secondary buttons or erasing capabilities on there. This is the Onyx Books Note. You have a back button. It's actually not a home button. It goes back one step at a time. You have a power button. Nothing on the left, nothing on the right. And on the bottom you have two Torx screws. We don't recommend opening this, but you can if you need to service it. USB-C and microphone. a microphone. And you have stereo speakers on the back, a very nice matte backing that shows a lot of fingerprints and the book's logoing. The stylus does not need any sort of charging or anything like that. You do have a secondary button and an eraser button as well as a clip. It does not clip onto the device itself and the pen nibs are replaceable but you don't get any in the box. If you click on the RM here you actually see like a settings menu. So enable firmware updates. You could enable airplane mode, Wi-Fi, power, storage, security, uh, different types of keyboards, accessibility, left or right-handed, choose your preferential text size. So we have it on the minimal one, but you could actually change the UI to go all like big and stuff like that. And then click this as well. Uh, files, notebooks, these are like where all your notes are stored documents as in PDF documents, uh, ebooks because this re reads ePubs, and bookmarks. On the Onyx you see there's recently added and the thing that you're most, uh, most currently opened, be it a text file, a picture, whatever. At the top you have some software keys, home, back, battery, Wi-Fi. You can click on this and have search settings, current reading, etc. We'll just click on settings and go through this. We're not going to go through every subfolder. You can just pause this video if you want to read what these have to bring. Application settings, network, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, VPNs, and Android version and whatnot. On the home screen you have library. This is obviously where all your content is stored in a thumbnail fashion. You can also toggle it to a list click on something it opens right up storage is basically your file browser this is no different than your PC you have DCIM books downloads movies etc can't really watch uh, movies properly on an e-ink device application is basically your applications this is running Android as Mike said so you can sideload in APK files and install them directly on this device settings at the bottom goes directly to the settings menu same as the top note taking we'll get into this in the uh, full note taking portion but this is where all your notebooks are and then browser triggers your internet browser with the remarkable you can actually edit the files so it has as you can see the harder that you press the harder the lines are uh, you can see that you have a total sidebar here so you could like do things like just delete everything that's on the screen. Uh, you can change like the thickness and sizes of the pens. You can zoom. Um, you can just kind of get rid of this all together and just go with the e-reading experience. As you can see, every sort of few pages that you turn, you kind of get a full page refresh. So like every three or four pages. So uh, this is built as a digital note-taking device, but eBooks is just something that it does. If you click here, uh, you can see some settings that you can do justification page margins line spacing it only has um six fonts and you can change the text size here 
On the Onyx, it is a little more e-reader friendly. As you can see, we have a lot more settings. You can't scribble on the page because it is not a PDF. You do have text-to-speech, refresh slideshow, and font face is uh, Chinese font face, English font face, and you have 27 pages of this. So uh, 27 times six, I can't do that in my head, but it's a lot. You have uh, um, font size change, text style, and some very technical code page. So if you're dealing with the UTF-8, UTF-16 uh, style font formats, you can change it. And there are three pages of this as well. So that's really cool. Page turns are lightning quick. You do have the ability to do long press and you can bring up um, dictionary definitions, highlights, copy notes, annotations, and uh, once again, text to speech. You can click out to get out of that. Um, you have stuff like scribble side by side, which is a really cool feature. So although you can't actually scribble on the page itself, you can take notes along with it and say, uh, you know, John uh, is a very important character and you can save that note page. And every time you change pages, that page corresponds to the notes you took. You can also expand the screen here. So you could see on the Remarkable, his jersey is a little bit more white. Uh, than the jersey here. So this is a little bit more bright, but you can see that his face here is a little bit oversaturated. But with the, the Remarkable, the same goes with the ebook reading experience with PDFs. You can just start instantly drawing. You can, uh, you know, um, you need the stylus, you can't tap the change pages or anything like that. You can change everything here on the fly if you want, change like the, um, you know, the weight of the line. There's a lot of different functions here. We're gonna go over everything in the full note taking experience and stuff about what all this actually does. Uh, but suffice to say, the Remarkable does a good job. It's unlike an ebook, it's, it's not doing the full page refresh every time you turn a page, but you notice that there is a loading thing almost every page that we turn. Whereas the Onyx doesn't have any sort of loading problems because it's running quad core, which is one of the fastest on the market for e-ink devices. Uh, again, there's so many settings here. You're going to have to pause the video if you want to read all these. I can't show them all. There's zoom, uh, fit to page, fit to width. There's a bunch of different navigation functionality, reflow, manual crop, comic mode, article mode. Uh, you can click on contrast. As Mike says, you can change the contrast, the weight of everything, the contrast level. We have notes where you can do some scribbling. It does take an extra couple steps to do scribbling, but it's just as responsive as the Onyx in that, um, as the, sorry, as the Remarkable in that regard. You have rotation, you, you can change the rotation level, you can go settings, slideshow, refresh, and TTS. If this device, um, if it can detect text, you can do all the e-ink, um, the e-reading capabilities and the text-to-speech capabilities at the same time. So the Onyx is a little bit more PDF friendly, as you can see, you can do uh, full navigation, you can do pinch and zoom, and if you change this into A2 mode, it becomes lightning quick. So in terms of a PDF functionality standpoint, the Remarkable is great at note taking, but that's basically where it ends. As you see uh, with both of these units, the UI is relatively the same. It's very Photoshop-y in the way that everything is just like on the, on the left-hand sidebar here, um, unlike uh, very much like the PDFs and ebooks, you can minimize this and just draw. So you have like different pencil and pen types. They all have different degrees of pressure sensitivity as well. Sort of like um. If you do it this way, it's sort of like a highlighting type of thing. So I can sort of highlight the word Michael, which is very interesting. Uh, there's an eraser button, uh, different degrees uh, of erasing. So this is the stock erasing thing. And then you could actually like highlight a few specific things and it'll just like delete whatever I highlight. Or you can just do a wipe of the entire screen. You know, you can zoom various aspects of it. You can do like a, an area zoom. So I could just like click here and then click like this and it'll zoom on that specific aspect of the device. You have layers, which is very interesting. So you can kind of create a new layer. Uh, it's very much like Photoshop in that respect. It also has different uh, 
you know, thickness levels here. Uh, different colors for like the, you know, for the drawing and things. On the Onyx here, uh, we'll go through all of these. This is how many note pages you've made. So you can go number one and then make a new page, call this two, and then you can see the comic book layout of what uh, kind of notes you've made. You do have pressure sensitivity, so you can press harder and it'll make a thicker line. You have pencil scribbling. This one is for circles and uh, geometric shapes. We'll go back to the pen here because we're going to choose a thicker line width and this is for making a thicker bleed on your, your pen. We have different colors, quote unquote, so basically you can choose white or black. Clicking on this, you'll be able to choose different backgrounds. We'll just go to the music notes just for an example. You can make little notes like that, literally music notes, and create your next sonata. You also have the ability to write something in the middle of the screen and it enters it as text at the top. If you do a full signature as well, it'll flip up to the top there as well. So it takes some getting used to. You do have eraser functionality or you can just use the back of the pen like this for erasing. You do have disabled touch screen. Um, you have export page, export all pages and you have back, forward, save, refresh to get rid of staining and cycle between your pages. Drop a comment below. Let us know what you think about the remarkable or the Onyx book note. And for goodybeater.com, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.